Heidi has been upcycling since before the craft industry had a word for it. She loves to turn everyday items into creative treasures. Today, she's here to share a longtime fan favorite, Tassel Angel. I'm delighted to welcome my sister, Eco Heidi Borchers. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Tiff. Thanks a lot. Yeah, this project has been around for years and years. Um, it's just simply taking tassels and uh, making angels out of them. So, be, you know, let's just get started. I'll show you how to do it. Um, Tiff, if you could put up the picture. I'm not going to show you too much. Um, I'm using just any kind of tassel. But what I thought was the most important thing today was to show you the head. Because this head could be used for a lot of different things. So what you're going to use is you're going to use a wood bead. And um, this one is probably about, oh, maybe seven-eighths of an inch. And it had a hole in it. But what I did is for this project, you need a little bigger hole. So I drilled it with a bigger hole. And first thing you're going to do, too, is you're going to get some yarn. And I have about a yard of yarn here, but you don't need that much. I like to have a little bit extra. And what you're going to do is you're going to go up through the, the head. And I've already, also, I've already painted this a flesh color. This was just a natural wood. And I'm going to go all the way until I just have maybe a couple inches. And I kind of have to hold that couple inches for a little bit. And I'm going to go through up through the bottom. like so Oops. and you just keep going and you're going to wrap it on and this is creating the angel's hair now i have used this head for so many things i used to make in fact years ago when they used to have like the craft boutiques i used to make a little um doily angel and use the same thing i would put the white yarn and make the doily out of her i mean we're talking many many years ago so you just continue to go around like that and i have one here that I finished. So you're going to have a long piece and then you're going to have this little two inch piece. So you're going to cut the two inch piece off and then you're going to do maybe five or six inches. Oops. So what I have is this like that. Now I'm going to take some glue and I'm going to put a little bit of glue at the top here and we're going to create her little like bun or the little top of her hair. like so and then I just take that little extra piece and just kind of put that in and then you, this is what you have the little angel and that'll dry clear and then what I do is I just take a fine line pin I'm going to turn this for a second so I can see it and we're going to put little eyes And my nose that didn't get very round there. And then she gets a really cute little mouth. And then if you want, you can always kind of dab some little cheeks on her. Now, when you go to put the, um, the tassel on her, I couldn't get my needle onto this part of the tassel. So I actually threaded some yarn on it with my really big, um, big eyed needle. And then it goes up to the the bottom and just kind of pull 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 you can do it you can do it come on and there you have it there now we get that off we put a little glue in there to hold her and then for um, for hands usually I just take I didn't bring another color usually I just take a um, piece of yarn and I'll oops I'll tie it in a knot to kind of give like a little, like she's holding her hands together. Pretend like we're pretending today that this is kind of a pink color. And then I glue that like that for her hands. And then you can use all kinds of things for her, um, for her wings. But my favorite is to just take a really pretty ribbon and to tie it into a bow. And it's that simple. Now, nowadays there's so many beautiful yarns. So also I want you to think, about even making your own tassel um, with a really pretty, pretty yarn. And all you have to do is just kind of wrap it up, tie it, and do the same thing. But it makes it real cute. <laughs> 